Oi, oi, all right, all right, how's it going? I'm Grant, who are you? This is Doodle Review coming through with a new album to listen to and chat some fraff about whether or not I like it, really. Uh, today, we're talking the Black Crow's latest record, Happiness Bastards. By all accounts, the Atlanta, Georgia band Black Crow's have been classic rock since they were a new band. To listen to them, you'd assume they'd been knocking about since the 70s due to their clear sonic reverence from for the giants of rock from that era, whether it's the Stones, Tom Petty, Led Zepp or Aerosmith. But their first album, Shake Your Moneymaker, actually didn't drop until 1990. The band actually carved a career throughout the largely grunge-tainted 90s by doing something distinctly different, offering a throwback to the days of sun-baked, blues-centered guitar riffs, up-tempo rhythms and just like good time rock and roll. Until this record, I'd heard of the Crows by name only. I'm not sure whether it's the fact I'm British and they didn't translate as much over here or just the generation I'm from, uh, or a little of both. But when I was being given my like rock education of the classic bands through my parents, this band just didn't come up. There were scant mentions across various rock documentaries and interviews and magazine articles that let me know they were a thing uh, at some point over the years, but I just never came across their music in the wild. To be honest, as someone that has a fairly strong aversion to overblown blues rock, you know, there are exceptions to this, but by and large anything on the kind of Joe Bonamassa side of boomer white guy rock, modern artists that didn't actually originate in that golden 70s era and have built a career off looking back at it, as someone with an aversion to that shit, I hadn't been in any hurry to check these guys out either. Not that I knew that they definitely fell into that category, but it was just kind of my sense of things. Also, you don't have to do much to fool me, and so for the longest time I confused the Black Crows with the Titans of Bland, the Counting Crows, for the longest time, uh, which certainly didn't help. As it goes though, while this album has the typical decadence of classic rock bands when they get past a certain age, i.e. every song has to have practically a full gospel choir, a horn section and about 50 other instruments, while it has all that stuff, I can't deny I've been quite enjoying Happiness Bastards. This is the ninth or tenth, I think, if you include their collection of acoustic covers, Crowology, from the Black Crows, and the first in about 14 or 15 years, depending where you're counting from. I don't know much about their back catalogue, but it certainly sounds like the band haven't just reluctantly returned to phone it in on this album. You know, just detaching from taste for a moment. On a performance level, every song is tightly wound, punchy, and played with absolute conviction which when coupled with a nice succinct track list at 10 songs and 38 minutes makes for a really captivating listen. Personally, I always find the abundance of instrumentation with these sorts of bands a little unnecessary and occasionally a little tacky, but I will say this is one of the best produced, best sounding rock albums of this ilk I've heard in recent years. Everything sounds very live, very present, warm and analog. I actually really enjoyed the Stones latest record and thought it was well produced and I even gave it props for sounding pretty close to the band playing together in a room but in comparison to this it feels a little clinical. In the case of Happiness Bastards every song feels like it's been played in a room with only a few key elements overdubbed as needed and that could be completely wrong but it's just how it sounds to my ears. The guitar tones in particular on this thing are exceptional, beautifully rich with just the right amount of bite and depth. There might not be amount of, yeah, like a huge amount of variety in those tones across the album. You know, you've got a pretty consistent clean tone, overdriven and distortion. But if anything, along with the live performance feel of it, this just helps things feel a little more raw and actually tempers some of that classic rock decadence I was just talking about. Given how much my personal taste day to day kind of aligns to punk and alternative styles that ideologically kind of spit in the eye of anything that has the tendency to go butt rock i was really surprised by how much of this i enjoyed on a song by song level too perhaps i've been somewhat bribed by the very stooges guitar tone of the early track rats and clowns but there is a certain attack a certain grit to the tracks here that you definitely can't call punk but it's endearing to a fan of the genre like me Look, I'm not saying there isn't a touch of corniness here and there. You know, waiting and wanting with all the backing vocals doing too much and without much of a distinctive riff is a skipper for me, as is the too jolly for its own good flesh wound. 
cross your fingers also breaks at a couple of points to like an almost hip hop leaning drum beat that is pretty cringe worthy. However, this song actually has one of my absolute favorite riffs on the entire record with this super tight in the pocket slide guitar groove that moves in parallel with the drum so effortlessly it's hard to talk about how great it is. That riff slamming in after a short quiet intro also makes for one of my favourite moments on the album, next to the double tracked acoustic slide part in the pre-chorus of opening barn burner bedside manners. So yeah, call me a boomer but I'm actually digging this record quite a lot, for me this is a 7-3. Time to knock it on the head though, that's what I think, what about you? Tell me how you feel in the comments below while you're messing about with clicks, taps and all that of guff in that region. Press the subscribe button, I'm sure it's kicking about down there. Subscribe, share some thoughts, show some love, or just hold some abuse at me in the comments, some game. And I'll um, see you in the next video. Cheers, mate. Bye.